Okay, so the next material we're gonna try to make is rusty corrugated metal. So it looks something a bit like uh, these reference images here. Here's a basic rusty metal and we're gonna add some displacement to it to make it corrugated. So let's start by making the base. I'm gonna search for rusty metal in cgtextures.com. Okay, or just rusty. Rust. Try to make something from this one here. Okay, let's download it and see what we can get. Should be much darker like this here. Okay. I'm gonna crop it like this. Flip it around. and distort it slightly, just to straighten it out like this. All right. Let's try to make it tileable horizontally. make it darker. I'm going to use hue saturation for this. And create a new layer and fill it with some brown color. Try a few blending modes. And reduce the opacity a bit like this. So I think this could be a pretty nice base for the rust material. Let's save it. Right, let's create new area material, name it Rust, and set up the diffuse map. So fix the tiling to get a nice realistic result. Let's look at this reference image again. So you can see it has some slight bump to it and it's a bit reflective. Let's create a reflection map, let's desaturate it maybe give it a bit more contrast here. Okay, and let's save it rust. Black and white. All right. So we're going to use this texture as the bump map and as the reflection map as well. You can just reduce the blurring. 
Now copy paste in the reflect slot. Swap the image to this black and white here. Let's reduce the glossiness something like 0 0.6. We can also try copying the reflect map to the reflection glossiness slot and reducing the amount so the texture is working just a little bit. It's not fully taking the value from the texture but just a little bit for example like 10% should be fine. Right, and let's enable Fresnel and let's set it to 10, something like that. Maybe the reflections are a bit too strong, so I'm going to reduce the reflection amount to 70. Okay, so this looks good. And I'm going to copy this map to the bomb slot. Right, so let's render and see how it looks. So that's a nice basic rusty metal material. It's pretty simple actually. Maybe the color is a bit too bright. So we can go back here and reduce the saturation a bit. Maybe make it a bit darker like this and resave the image. Okay, so everything else looks fine, I guess. So now I'm going to show you how to give some 3D shape to this material by using a gradient ramp in the bump slot, or actually in the displacement slot. So I'm going to go into displacement slot, I'm going to select gradient ramp, I'm going to turn on the preview in viewport. Okay, so for a ramp, we want a smooth smooth black and white wave something similar to this one here nice wave so to do that we're gonna change uh, the side colors to black and the central color to white like this maybe make the center a bit but um, a bit wider by adding some more control points. You can try some different um, blending types. Right. Let's see how this looks. First we need to fix the tiling. I want the shape going vertically, so I'm going to increase the U tiling. Okay, like that maybe. Okay, let's leave it linear. And try the displacement at 2. It is a bit too strong right now. Let's try a lower value. For example, 1. And I'm also going to increase the quality of displacement in my V-Ray rendering settings by reducing the edge length to something like 2 pixels. And re-render. Okay, so this looks better. Nice smooth wave. Mm. 
You can make various different uh, deformation patterns by changing your gradient. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create another pattern. Let's cancel the rendering. Okay, copy the material. I'm going to change the gradient ramp to something different. So I want uh, small, small extrusions from the surface. I'm going to try and find something similar. Okay, maybe something similar to this one here. You can see these thinner lines that are extruded out, and the rest is going in. So you can try to use the gradient to replicate this effect. For example, this will be the thin white line here, and it will go to black. The extrusion will not be straight, so there will be this um, angled part here. Then there will be the straight part between the white, white points. And the rest will be on the same level. Okay, let's try it. It's a bit too strong. Let's cancel it and... Okay, first I'm gonna reduce the blur a bit. Maybe make it a bit weaker, say 0.8. and re-render. If you don't like to use the gradient tool, you can get a very similar result by creating a new texture in Photoshop. Let's create something like, okay, let's fill it with medium gray. Right, like that, create a new layer, and with a brush, let's make this part extruded out. And maybe some parts extruded in like this. I'm going to blur these a bit. And make a sharp transition over here. like that. So the border will be sharp, there will be slightly rounded inset. Let's do the same for the white part. Only it will move out instead of in. Okay, first let's blur it a bit. Make the edge sharp like this. Okay. Let's 
right so let's try it instead of the gradient ramp and change it to bitmap here's our map like that maybe make it a bit stronger 1.5 and reduce the blur right let's see how it looks okay I think that looks pretty nice maybe the quality is a bit too low but you can increase that as much as you like maybe the effect is a bit too strong I'm gonna make it slightly weaker okay let's set it at one back up a bit and re-render so I think this looks pretty good and as you can see there are many different ways you can create a corrugated surface either by using the gradient ramp or creating a custom texture or if you really wish you can even use modeling to create the correct surface but as you can see you can use displacement very successfully instead of modeling the shape right so if you want a different material with the same displacement pattern for example, not rusty, but regular painted. For example, let's paint it, I don't know, dark blue. Dark blue and a bit dirty. Maybe like this. You can change the diffuse to a simple color or a texture. In this case, I'm going to use a texture. Takes a while to save. Okay, so it's saved, and here we go, blue paint. And maybe for this material you want the paint to be a bit, a bit more glossy, like this. So it's not so worn, but it still has these patches. Right, so something like 0 0.9. and re-render and you should have a painted corrugated metal surface now you can also use the same technique to create a shiny corrugated metal just simple metal material with a similar gradient texture in the di displacement slot so the possibilities are endless. Alright, so that's it for corrugated metal.